I believe Virginia Beach is like the hub of the world. People come in from literally all over the world here. It's a community. Most of my life, I couldn't afford a mechanic. So watch YouTube videos, did it myself because I couldn't pay them four or $500. When I was in Rochester, New York, uh, honestly, I was just miserable working at a different mechanic shop. And then I was like, I've always wanted to own a business. Dan started Cheeky Servo up in New York. When he moved back, we reconnected and started hanging out again. And I was telling him that my wife and I really love hosting people. One of our dreams is like open up a cafe, a spot where people can come hang out and eat food and uh, have a good time. And I was like, well, I can't serve a corn dog with greasy ass hands. You want to join me on this? We call it a developing dream, but Cheeky Servo has been developing for the past probably three or four years. We got the DIY garage. You pay for a membership. It's almost like a gym membership, but you work on your bike, not your abs. We also have a cafe, like historically, like how do you build good community? It's historically, it's always around food. The way I describe it is Cheeky Servo during the day is mechanical repair and motorcycle shop. On event days, we open up the shop to like more of a space where people can come, hang out, grab a quick bite. We're doing about a party every month, partnered events with different folks who make food. So tonight will be an oyster night. We've done Philly cheesesteak nights in the past. The two, my dream for doing a cafe and Dan's dream for doing like a DIY motorcycle shop, it kind of just paired well. So it's kind of just like good timing. The dream is just community. I love bikes and I love food. If we can literally just have a space where if we can influence people to create good vibes, it just makes us better. What I really like about this area is we're close to the Vibe District. It feels like a tight-knit community, but it's a little bit bigger of a city. The real thing that we want to achieve with the cafe is that we want to serve a good amount of food for not that much money. Everything's homemade. All the recipes come from in-house. We develop everything ourselves. We just want it to be a spot where everyone can come and afford to like fill themselves up and like not worry about like spending hundreds of dollars on one meal. One step at a time. It's all started off in a 150 square foot garage. Now we're in 10 times that space, 1,200 square foot. The dream is to eventually open up every day. We want to have a spot where like come and hang out with cool people, eat good food, and drink beer and have a good time. And not like feel like you're out of place. <laughs>